Hello everybody. It's me. It's Ann. I'm just hanging out. Figured I'd just like slap some face on. Not that I'm doing anything today other than just sitting here. Um, finished my schoolwork. Working on exactly what I'm going to do with this back wall. Jim and I have been discussing constructing a few things. I'm going to put a couple of shelves up here and there so I can put stuff on it. I've started my fall decorations. I've got a few bits and pieces here and there. But I figured, you know, what the heck. I'll slap some makeup on and talk to people for a while. Now, September, most of September, I'm going to be pretty low-key with stuff. Probably a few more general tutorials, that kind of thing. Because I'm going to be also trying to pre-film some of the stuff I'm going to be doing for October so I don't kill myself trying to do Halloween stuff all at one time. It's kind of like by the time I get into November I'll probably start doing my 25 days of Christmas as pre-films so I don't do what I did last year which was practically kill myself trying to keep up with 25 days in a row and there's always you know collabs and everything else in the midst of all that yes I'm using the Tarte palette that Nona sent me yeah I've gotten sent quite a few things recently so I've got the, the palette that Nona sent when we did our swap, and I've gotten a few things from Anya Stamper, Pink Sweets, and yeah, Nona is, is hashtag my so-called wife, 1977. So, you know who these people are, and I've been just absolutely thrilled and grateful really grateful to have this stuff but at the since September is my birthday month I'm going to be making probably the biggest purchase that I make for the year towards the end of this month I've got a few things that I've got lined up and on wish lists and stuff that I'm going to be picking up but most of it is stuff that I can use to sort of duplicate some of the high-end stuff. There's a blue palette, and a green palette, and an orange palette. And no, we're not talking about the color pops. These are a little less expensive and have a few more pans to them each. Is just stuff that I found on Amazon and I'm going let's bring them in see what I can do with them and I've got more collaborations coming up with the AAK girls and with the dirty half dozen and we're hoping to do another couple of collaborations. We're still working on figuring out which new idea to go with. There are several. Collaboration was just absolutely spectacularly fun. It really was. And the concept of having that kind of collaboration as a support for smaller YouTubers I think is delightful. It's one of the best ideas anybody's come up with in a long time. When I first heard about the makeup community 
what I had heard about, because we just passed my one year anniversary of actually being on YouTube. I'd been watching for probably a good year before that for the makeup community. I've watched other stuff on YouTube forever. Um, but just as I was starting to get into being on YouTube and joining the community, we started having issues like Dramageddon and my concept for the second version of that was Drama Apocalypse. Some other people call it Dramageddon Point Two. <laughs> And I'm like, we're going to not go very far if this kind of, of thing is going to be what's drawing all the attention. And I'm like, can we fix this? Can we really? And then collaboration came up, and I'm going, we can fix this. We can get involved with each other as smaller creators and kind of in a way go back to the supportive community we were while trying to move us forward into the future and I liked it. So when I got a chance to be part of it, I jumped on it. Now granted, and I told people this when I did the collab, that I was gifted the palette because one of the other creators wanted me to be in the collaboration. And I looked at that and said, but that's what we're about. Helping each other, supporting each other, doing good things for each other, and being grateful for it. This is cool. So, if you can think of something nice to do for somebody, get on with it. It doesn't have to cost money. A little bit of your time sometimes is enough. You don't have to do things that cost money. Not everybody has any. And we all get that. Not everybody lives close enough to do stuff together. I, there's some of my favorite people that I would love to do a in-person collab with, but I live in literally East BF in Oregon. I'm on the eastern side, well, southeastern side of Oregon, so it's East BF in a little bitty town at the edge of the Elkhorn Mountains. And yeah, it's a nice place, but most of the people that I know, like Anya, we actually know each other. We met before I moved out here. We used to I used to live in the D.C. area, and we went to science fiction conventions and met that way. Her brother was into the conventions really big, and that's how we met. So we've known each other for years, but she's still back in the D.C. area. Anybody who doesn't understand that reference, it's Washington, D.C., nation's capital. Some of the other people I would love to meet. They're scattered everywhere. You know, I'm not close enough to California to go running down to, to California. I'm not close enough to Washington to go there or to British Columbia to go there. Uh, <laughs> I have to go the next state over to get to the nearest airport that is not the little puddle jumper airport right outside of town here. Um... Or I can drive six hours and go to Portland. Yeah, not so much. Um, my car is not reliable. Anybody want to give me opinions on, on, on 
reliable cars, especially those that stay reliable even when they're used. Um, we're starting to look for a new vehicle. Ours is acting up. It's, it's, it's just decided it wants to be contrary, mostly. You know, little things like vapor lock. Things that are not fun. Da, 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 da. A little bit of shimmer. A little bit of, well, it's kind of hard not to do a little bit of shimmer. Because with this particular Tarte palette, it's Rainforest of the Sea, and it's the Volume 3, which is all basically just beiges, <laughs> beiges and browns. There's only one, one, count them, one matte color. And that was the first one I put on. So everything else is a shimmer of some manner. But no, I'm not spraying them. Well, I might spray them after I get finished. finished. But I'm not spraying them to put them on. They go on just fine without the spray for hanging out and such. Like I said, I, fi I finished my classwork for the week. I'm in a history class. It's part of my gen ed requirements for the degree. I'm going to tell you, the first time I did this history, yes, this is a repeat. The first time I did this history class, it started off pretty good, but the instructor and I did not see eye to eye on a lot of stuff. And it kind of went down here. Now, I'm not going to blame the instructor for me having to redo the class precisely. But he didn't help. Our disagreements created a enough of an issue. It created enough of an issue that I stopped really working. Not a good idea. Not, not, not. Yes, the moisturizer and stuff is already on. I'm just putting some BB cream on. Nothing big, bright, or brilliant. Usually with foundations and stuff, I put it on the palette instead of on the back of my hand. But BB cream, meh. I'm still going to use brush or a sponge or something, though, even for BB cream, just to kind of not have as many streaks. This is one I haven't used much. But my other BB creams ran out. And I said, hmm, self, you need to replace your BB cream. Which is pretty close to the heaviest thing I wear during hot weather. We're actually starting to really cool down here. Yeah. We're far enough north and in the edge of the mountains. So we start to cool down pretty quick in the year. This will be our second winter coming up. Last winter wasn't too off. The winter before we moved here from Florida, boy am I glad I'm not in Florida. When we were in Florida, we lived on the Space Coast. You may have heard them mention that during the hurricane pass through. Treasure Coast, Space Coast, that whole area. We went through Michael and Irene living there. That was enough. I got no use for that. I really like this stuff. It's got a nice coverage to it. It's not overly mushy like some BB creams can be, where you're going, jeez, I've already put the moisturizer on, guys. Can we, like, cut this back just a little? 
And yeah, this is one of my little cheapies. It's AOA. It's a dollar. No, really, it's a dollar. And I love it anyway. And it's fun. Not bad. Now, let's see. I'm going to drag out. Ha! Ah, another fancy. Yes! Drag out a fancy. It's the Charlotte Colbert. Now, this little pad, pad right up here, that little pan, is face powder. And I'm like, how am I supposed to get my powder brush in that? I know, you're supposed to be using that for like setting under the eyes, yada yada. But it's actually a little dark for me to use to set under the eyes. It's almost too dark to use just to powder off the face. It's near on to tan there. And I'm not. <laughs> Even during the summer, I'm really not. I don't spend a lot of time in the sun having an autoimmune issue. Sunshine is not necessarily your bestest friend, depending on whether or not your particular issue is UVA or UVB reactive or something like that. I happen to be reactive. I can feel just fine. And go out and get in the sun. And as soon as I get in the sun, it's almost like somebody just stuck a vacuum line to my energy and took it away. And it's not fun. Which, it really peases me off because I didn't know this until relatively recently. And I have spent my entire flipping life wondering why going out on a bright sunny day makes me feel so tired. Now we know. La 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 it's a little bit of a bronzer, a little bit of contour. I rather like the shade. It's not bad. Yes, this is like I said, where I, where I pretend like this is doing me a favor. And put it down on my neck to kind of create a little bit more shadow there. So I can pretend that you can't actually see that double chin, or in some cases a triple chin. It's been bigger. Alrighty. Okay. I actually like kind of mixing these blushes up just a little bit, because one's a pink that's kind of a mauvey pink, and then the other one's kind of a peach, and it's like, I kind of like the combo as opposed to the individual colors. Yes, I know. Make it look like I go out in the sun even when I don't. <laughs> Silly, but hey, looks good in a picture. Now, take a little of the powder and a little of the bronze to her. See, I've got a fairly shallow bridge to my nose. 
This gives it a little more dimension. Makes it look like there's a little more depth there. Because right through here, it's, ju it's almost just black. So it looks kind of pitiful. And then there's these lovely little highlights they've got here. Down here. One's kind of peachy. It's got a bit of a pink background to it. And the other one's more just goldy champagne. I think I'm going to go with the paler one today. Kind of work that in around on top of that peachy blush. The peachy pinky. Peachy pinky. No, I haven't done my eyebrows yet. When I'm doing this kind of stuff and just putzing around at home, there is no rhyme or reason to how I put things on. There really isn't. Especially I get talking to somebody. I'll talk to my husband and just get completely bum as to where I am in process. Or talking to you guys. Now, we're thinking about, and I say we because I put my poor old man on the spot to help me with this wall. We're thinking about using something like a reclaimed sofa picture frame or something like that and if it's still got a picture in it and it's, you know, your basic piece of cardboard with some print on it, popping that out and doing, like, the little fine grid hardware cloth so I can do things like, you know, put some of my earrings up there or hang some of the necklaces up. Or, you know, use a basic little S-hook to hang some of my signs and stuff. And then with the you know, with the little shelves, I'll have some place to put my flowers besides on my desk. Since that's going to have to move once I finish filming. Because otherwise I can't use my computer. Okay, this is one of the skinny little eyeliner crayon things. I'm going to roll it up just a little bit because it's kind of shortened down. Little tiny skinny fine line in brown, well, a dark chocolate brown, but brown, with my hair color and the hair color that I got left with for the eyebrows and the eyelashes, I would just as soon use brown even for the mascara, trying to find brown mascara is a pain in the tush, especially trying to find one on a regular basis. Because, you see, for some reason, my eyebrows and my eyelashes still think I'm a pale blonde. Could be worse. Still, could still be the white blonde I started off with as a baby. So I've got these relatively pale lashes and eyebrows, which 
definitely disappear if I'm not careful. They're doing better since I've been using some of that, some of the um, product that helps you grow eyebrows and lashes and such. But me being me, I'm not terribly consistent with it. I need to work on that, but at least I have them currently. For a while, I had no eyebrows to speak of. I've actually got a video or two towards the beginning of me getting into YouTube where you can go back and look and it's like I had a little clump of hair towards the front and it was sparse but there was nothing out here nothing it was pitiful and yeah I don't put a lot of eyebrow on either I am I am definitely not every time I see some of the eyebrow treatments that people are doing, I swear to God, I start seeing Groucho marks in my head. And it's and if you don't know who that is, go look it up. Yes, I'm that old, okay? Okay. And as soon as I see Groucho marks in my head, I can't do the eyebrow. It's just they're too much. They really are. Okay, basic eyeliner. Yes, this is black since the mascara. That, and it was the first one I pulled out. I didn't feel like digging for the brown. Got this through Amazon. It's a set of four. There's a black, there's a brown, there's a purple, and there's a bright blue. I'm rather fond of them. They work pretty well. No, the lines are not straight. If you want straight lines, find somebody who can actually see what they're doing without their glasses. That Yes, eventually I'm going to try to get contacts. No guarantee. No guarantee when. Because they ain't cheap. Yes, this is the Charlotte Tilbury mascara that came in with the palette that I wanted to give away. Granny Makeup 65. 
does a really generous giveaway when she does one. She's wonderful. Go watch her if you're like one of them mature types. Because, let me tell you, she does some really, really classy looks. While I'm out and weird being out in the ozone. And if you don't believe me, just wait for October. We will be talking about out in the ozone. All right. Lip stuff. Lip stuff. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. It's not even grocery day, so little lip gloss. Anyway, if you guys have any ideas, suggestions, possible colors, anything like that for the wall screen, let me know. I won't guarantee I'm, I'll use them. But I'll at least think about it. If it's a good idea, it might get used. If you have anything you want to see in particular, to the best of my ability anyway, for October, let me know. I have several days in October I need to fill in. And all of it is going to be using the things that I have on hand. Stuff that anybody can pick up just about anywhere. You don't have to have big, expensive stuff. My flowers and decorations all came from Dollar Tree. I've already picked up the flowers for October. They have this amazing collection of Halloween roses. Yes, you heard me. Halloween roses. They have a blood red. They have a purple. And they have a black. And all of them have glittered edges. And an eyeball in the middle. And spiders crawling up the stems. <laughs> I can't wait for Halloween. I am a fall child. Yes, I am. I really am. I love the fall. Fall is the beginning of my year since it's my birthday. Not today, no. But in a few days, I will be 61. And I'm going to continue to play with makeup and be goofy and do as I please in a lot of ways 
until they close the lid on the box. That includes doing interesting stuff for Halloween looks and being silly on YouTube as long as it lasts. I mean, you know, things come and go. First everybody was on MySpace and then on Facebook and then on whatever else has come next. Let's see, there's something called MeWe or something like that or Me Too, something like that. Not, the Me Too is the other thing. And yes, Me Too. But Me We or something like that that's specific, that's a new you know, we won't we won't record all your social stuff, social place that somebody was telling me about. And I'm like you know, as soon as we all get together, just like we did on Facebook, somebody's going to mess us up. Somebody's going to decide that this is a great opportunity to collect data on people. So annoying. Anyway, I'm about as ready for my day as I'm getting. I don't know, maybe I'll put some earrings on. We'll see. Maybe these. No, I do not take out the other hoops when I put these on. Because for the most part, the earrings that I wear slide right past those little bitty hoops. Oh, I've got to see if I can find the other one. Ta-da! Not as far down as I thought, huh? But I just, I leave them in. These little bitty hoops. And put the other earring in next to it. and go on about it. Now see, the, these holes up here, part of the reason I've got two hoops in these and don't ever take them out is because these like to try to disappear. Because I don't always put something in them when I'm putting something here. It depends on the earrings, depends on the day. But those try to disappear, so I've got these that I keep in there. Yes, I move them around. I don't let them get stuck. I move them around. I keep them clean. Yada, yada. But here's hanging around the house. On a September morning, I think I'm going to go game now. For the horde! Be good.